Hello, everyone, and welcome back to part two of Crate Expectations. If you have not watched part one, you should go to Zara's channel and do it there or on his Twitch because we streamed it because we're on our 100th episode and we're just all over the place. We're crazy, man. Yeah, we're just changing things up and doing things on your channel that we don't do and doing things here that we don't do. And um, yeah. Yeah. Sarah, Sarah is crazier than ever. Am I normally crazy? I mean, that's like your default, but I mean... <laughs> it's okay. Uh, okay. I, I, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you. You're the one who... You, you ask these questions and then you're like, how rude. <laughs> uh that's true okay um so we have fewer questions we're still gonna we're still gonna do that uh <laughs> sorry uh I i'm laughing at sarah's loony and toony <laughs> <laughs> after i definitively proved that looney tunes is a canadian thing <laughs> just kidding no um i mean okay. i kind of did though no no uh, i don't know uh, I, th I think you should at least have some doubt in your mind about it at this point. So I have no doubt um, because I remember this is why I remember watching Looney Tunes as a kid. And I remember when I watched it, that Toonies were not a thing like they didn't exist yet. Mm, well, that's an interesting twist. Yeah. Did Maybe you know Looney. that when when Toonies first came out, you could pop the middle out of them and then you could wear like the silver thing, like a ring on your finger. Did parents just put an end to that because they didn't want chocolate melted all over their No, this was like a legitimate $2 coin. You could pop the middle of it out. Oh. It's like a gold center with a silver ring. I should just send you a picture of all the money. Then you And I could draw like arrows and you could understand what I was talking about. Could you just send me some of the money? <laughs> you don't want the Canadian money. It's like two cents. I thought you said you don't have pennies anymore. We don't. Did you know that you can't convert coins? Like, it, whatever religion they are, you just, they're stuck there? Yeah. Like, most of them are just going to be Catholic. All right, Forever so... Never. Amen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't I, even I'm do Catholic. Like I'm allowed to say <laughs> that. <laughs> um... Okay, so viewer question. <laughs> You're so Catholic. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> That's one of the wilder claims we've had on Crate. You can tell it's the hundredth episode tonight, folks. <laughs> that I claimed I'm Catholic. Yeah. Sarah's like, I'm Catholic, just out of the blue. <laughs> okay, Sarah, you've had too much to drink. Go home. <laughs> uh, okay. All of, none of the viewer questions have to do with religion. Just so, just to put that out there. <laughs> we'll have to see about that. Hmm. Uh, okay. The first one, Nor and Rad. Uh, I feel like this is more you related than me related, but hmm. do you think giving Darth Sidious his Zeta for use with the Datacron is worth it? For reference, just for background, I am Zeta poor, and the moment, uh, at the moment, like most of us, since the advent of the Lightspeed bundles, I still haven't given Ray her Zeta on Manifest Inspiration. I've almost got two Zetas in the bank. So, I don't know. I feel like I don't like chasing, I mean, you know this, I don't like chasing things specifically for data Datacron purposes, but... I feel like you can expand off of this more than I can, because I I, mean, that, I didn't even realize my Sidious was on defense. To me, I mean that's 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 what I've done on Professor X, and you know you're 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 pretty consistently like I I know you're you're uh <laughs> you're, that I I spend I spend resources on characters that are maybe a little uh, you know sketchier than prefer preferable just because uh they they're good with their datacron, but I think that's one of the reasons. I, I end up succeeding in GAC even without as many Galactic Legends and stuff. Um, chasing Datacrons is pretty good. I would say, though, 
Sidious is an exception. I don't. I I did not for my for my alt account, and I will not add that Zeta. Um. I I think it's honestly one of the most garbage, uh, and and tricksy, datacrons that there were. Uh, like. First off, you can almost never use it in 5v5, and then in 3v3, half the things that you think are going to work only work, like, sometimes, and, like, I, I don't think I ever had one, like, I mean, it's a character, but, like, one squad that had, a, 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 a like, a promising Datacron that I failed with as much as Sidious, even on my main account, on my alt, whatever, like, just, I think it's... I ended up having way more success once I stopped using that that Datacron altogether. That's interesting. It, it's just uh, it's fool's gold, I, I think. So like a yeah, chocolate I, loony. That does sound foolish. So yes, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Like <laughs> it sounds loony and toony. I don't. But anyways. <laughs> Yeah, I think I, I think it's it's worthless. Don't do it. Um in my opinion. Fair. Okay. The 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 most enjoyable thing are people who tell me that it works every time. They're like, No, dude, it's work at every time. Okay, bud. Congratulations. Go after yourself. Let's move on. Uh okay. Fine. Moving on. Yeah. Janus Geminus. How do you manage signal data acquisition when two new characters are on Cantina energy nodes? Is it better to go all in stalling our relic roster growth for a couple of months or distribute our energy in a way to achieve both roster growth and shard acquisition? Which approach is best? I answered that one. Let's hear what you have to say about this one. I'm curious. Um, I... we're, in, we're in a really tricky spot now with Stap and... Yeah. Tarples, but everyone needs Zeta or everyone needs uh, relics as well. Right. Um. So I always farm the shards. Just go balls to the wall and farm the shards. Um. The shards are what is what is gonna stop you. Like especially if you're looking at uh like a timed event coming back, like Jar Jar for for example. Um. If that event rolls around and you don't have the shards, you're screwed. Like there's there's nothing you can really do about it other than hope that maybe they show up in shipments or buy a pack or something like that. But uh, so it's it's always shards that that slow you down. And signal data, like yes, I get it. It's annoying to stop the farm, but there are other places that you would be able to get it if you had to in a pinch like you would be able to buy it out of shipments you would be able to buy it in conquest um so there's other areas that it can like flow in yeah uh so uh, yeah i think i i think trying to mix the two is just going to end up frustrating you like that it's already yeah. like, like the step the step farm is already a month mm -hmm. long because it's it's the higher energy level, mm -hmm. and so if you decide to split it at fifty fifty somehow, which is also aggravating, because you only you get three refreshes, and you're like, okay, so how many is that of each? But um, it just like two months of that nonsense is just yeah. gonna get old, and you're gonna not you're not gonna get enough shards to feel like you're making progress. You're not gonna get enough signal data to feel like you're really make you're like man i'm getting like nothing here it's gonna just feel futile and awful for for a sixth of a year it's it just feels bad so i would i would advise yeah just just take get to a point where like well like what you and i were talking sarah about my alt account uh mm -hmm. you know the one the one that you play uh a lot for me you do the conquest and dailies and stuff which of course i'm very grateful for i have to say that in the videos each video or people um <laughs> turn on me they're like you're not grateful enough to sarah like you're not grateful enough to me for for um not you sarah that the the people saying that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah for facilitating this discussion but um no i it, so i mean what i told you i was like okay here's here's the thing like 
let's get signal data to the point where I have enough to get a Relic 8 on bo Mandalore. Right. You know, and and then we'll start on the step farm. Because mm-hmm. I need to. I knew that I was going to need those relics for that one character. And then we could start farming step. So it's like, find your kind of stop point where you can be fine without relics for a little bit. And then start your farm and just go to the end. Yeah. And, I mean, the good thing with Tarples is he's an 8 energy node. So... He's fast. I, I finished tarples in eight days. Did you did you just do the... Oh, well, you already had a bunch of shards so, to start with. I, well, that's the other thing. Like, with this new marquee structure, you are... If, if you're buying the gamble packs, you're starting a little bit further ahead. So, I had... By the time tarples went farmable, I had bought him out of shipments twice. So, he was... Um, five stars. I think he was like five out of 85 shards, somewhere like around there. And it took mm-hmm. eight days. So, not too, too bad. Yeah. I mean, if you're already like halfway there, that's, that's really great. Like, Stap is different because Stap didn't have all the cool farming structures. So, everyone yeah. just started at, unless you bought the 30 or $20 packs or whatever. For shards, you started at three stars with nothing, basically. Right. So, Stab really legitimately does take almost a month to finish, whereas mm-hmm. uh, Tarples, who is half that amount, you would think that it would take um, more than just eight days, but you, since you already kind of had a head start, it makes sense. Right. I, I mean, so, like, if you don't have the head start, it might take two weeks. Yeah. But also, uh, the other thing you... I feel like I, I need to remind people of this when these things go farmable and just like in general you really need to be getting your free energy out of the web store because that was another thing um with tarples Mm. and specifically for me there were a couple of days where i pulled 100 cantina energy so that's a huge uh huge boost to it right oh and that's that's something i i do sporadically i'll i'll go through spurts i'll be like every day for a week I'll go yeah. get my energy, and then I won't do it for a week or two, because I just, I, I don't know. That's one nice thing about the the um, PC client, actually, is mm-hmm. you just get that automatically. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. You just log in and grab that free crate. It's awesome. Well, that I want that. Get a real computer. Rude. Rude. Um, okay. Three more questions. General Ironwood, what light side teams are good to work on for territory battles? Can I fix CLS with mods or do they just not work past the first phase or two? I never use CLS in territory battles in Rise of the Empire. Hmm. Pretty much never. Uh, Do you attack in the first round, the first phase? Sometimes, if I'm bored. I mean, we're at the point where we don't like right. need to um mm-hmm. but it's pretty much jtr led resistance is a team that i use the whole way through the first phase uh or not the first phase the whole whole way through the light side path um i know i don't have it i don't have the fin omicron but i know a lot of people also that do and they have really good success with the fin omicron Tons of success and consistency with the Bad Batch team with the Omicron, which I know a lot of people don't want to hear the term Omicron, but it, yeah, it this is. is a this is grossing me out, Sarah. I'm, I'm sorry, it is what it is. Yeah, let's just give people advice on what what the best Omicrons for a TB to apply. That's that's what. Why don't we just spend the rest of our discussion on that? Oh no. How many do you have? I have zero. Zero. Uh, you know what, though? I, I say that. If they gave us more Omicrons, I, I would absolutely apply some totally. for TB. Just because it, be, it would make things a little easier. You can auto things more often. And it might be fun, frankly. Like, having... like you, It's like a new character, kind of. Like, it, it makes them... I, I don't know. I know that... 
Trench is probably a bad example, but, like, it's fun to use Trench in GAC, and it's like, okay, he's a little limited compared to that. Then you use him in Territory Wars, and it's like, oh my gosh, this is so crazy. Like, they're just, he, like, with the Omicron versus not, mm -hmm. it just, it makes a big difference. It's it's really, it's like you get a new character. It's fun. Um, so I imagine it's the same way for TB. Yeah, it is. Um, I'm trying to think i i don't want to say like gl teams because that seems like a cop out but i do use rebels uh i do use i like to use jedi knight luke lead with my jedi master luke because i like having the cleanse and the heal and taking a turn and all that kind of fun stuff what you use jedi jedi knight luke lead yeah does a do, do GLs? You can have a GL on your team and have it work. I just haven't really thought about it that much. Mm -hmm. That's it's just cool. The, it's just the older public characters that it doesn't work for. So I try I try really hard not to uh, use them with mm. Jedi Knight Luke. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, Jedi, Jedi Knight Luke lead. That's fun. I, I haven't done that, obviously. Um, what was the question again? Just like what the best teams light, are. For light TV. side. Specifically light side. Yeah, Jedi Training Ray is a fun one because you don't even yeah. need Ray to be able to succeed. Like just Jedi Training Ray herself with BB-8 and mm -hmm. friends. Like it, it, if it starts out... As long as you everyone lives at the start, which to, like in the first two phases at least that that works. I don't know. I haven't tried it in gone Kashyyyk before. Um, but otherwise, light side. I mean, I hate to say this, but like Galactic Legends, just yeah, you know, you can just auto with Galactic Legends. That's that's the really big one. Um, otherwise, that I don't know. There's there's not it's not too much that's that's not. I feel like most of it's. Like, you can use General Skywalker on yeah. those missions, like on Baraka. It's, it's such a such a hassle, though. Yeah, it is tedious. I don't even do it anymore. I used to do it regularly, and now I'm just, there's no... It's, it doesn't bring me any joy. No, well, sometimes you just get destroyed before it, it, yeah. it works out. I mean, it's fun when you're able to, like, kill one of the troopers, and they just get deleted. All five stacks are just gone um that that's fun but it's hardly worth the headache um i i will say if you join my discord then um if you go into there's a channel called r-o-t-e infographics um uh the one for felucia which is what what is it phase two neutral there's mm -hmm. there's uh y you have a mandatory lando or landino and a mandatory hondo mission and i do have off meta, well, one of them I guess has Ray, but there, there's two light side teams to beat those those two. If you really need more combat mission wins, but I don't remember them off the top of my head. They involve like Cat and Sana yeah. and Kara, all kinds of weird nonsense, but all that kind of fun fun stuff. Hey, we look like twins, according to Jadison Jadison in chat. I think that might be the first time we've been told that. I think so. Hmm. Hmm. Um, okay, there's two more questions that popped up in chat, and then we Congratulations. can hear it. Congratulations? I mean, someone who's compared to me to be, you know, like, look like my twin. Like, very <laughs> impressive indeed. <laughs> uh, okay, Zortar... Are you planning to take Gungans to Relic 8 for the new raid? I want to hear what your thoughts are. Ah, uh, yes. What about yes. Jar Jar to 9? I'll go to 8 first. And then we'll see. Uh, because we don't, like... Like, assuming they keep the tiers the same, there won't be a Relic 9 tier, because 8 and 9 are on the same the same one. So I don't know if he's, if I will need him at 9 for the raid. 
But I know right. that I will want the whole team relegate. Yeah, uh, you know, the nine, you, you get more stacks of the, uh, the shield generator or whatever. Right. So multiples so of three. That might be that might be part of the strategy for the raid. I guess I guess I don't know how how it's gonna work if the shield generator is even gonna come into play in it or not. I would assume right. it would. Yeah, my guess is it would. I usually, yeah. Um, but yeah, for, to to that answer, yeah, absolutely. Relocate. Um, the only reason you wouldn't do relocate on them all is if you're gonna get them later, so you can't use them on the raid. But in my opinion, it's going to. It's already a crazy thick, resilient team, anyways. Mm -hmm. Even a relic five, whatever. But but like eight is just gonna be. Everyone's gonna have relic. This is. You know what the thing I hate most about the ship you hate most, uh, Leviathan, mm, is the ride. Yeah. Everyone has a relic nine, Malik and Darth right. Riven. Right. Like, especially the Malik part, because it's like, jeez. And then they put them next to, a lot of people have Relic 9 on Malgus, and it's it's just obnoxious mm -hmm. to deal with. That's a good point. And it's going to be the, the Gung... same thing for the raid. Yeah, a lot of people are going to have Relic 8 on Gungans, and, mm -hmm. um, you know, I always chuckle when I see someone who, who has, like, Relic 5 Tuscans. I'm like, jeez, this is going to be so easy compared to Relic 8 nonsense that I have to face, like, those extra relic levels make a big, big difference, and the raid, they're gonna make a huge difference for your guild, so yeah, I would recommend it, mm -hmm. if you can, if you can manage it. I'm also curious what the Omicron's gonna be. Oh, by the way, Herf says the more stacks thing is on the Omicron, not the, uh, oh. not just the kit, so. Well, there's... Either way, there's still an Omicron for the raid that the Gungans are going to have that we don't know what it is yet. Oh, that'll be fun. So maybe it's related to shield stacks. Maybe it <laughs> makes the shield stacks Omicron work in the raid. Is that the kind of shield you can hit someone with, like a zombie or something? <laughs> Bludgeon? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, last, last question. Uh, I'm going to say this wrong. I'm sorry. Christian Cut Button, I think. Do you think we're overdue for a galactic chase? Uh, yeah, no, I mean, that that's synonymous to, in my, it, to me as, are we overdue for a new ship that isn't a capital ship? Or a conquest right. ship, I guess. Or a con we're, yeah. I would like a conquest ship. Um, Dude, where is our information about what's next? I, we have, this is we're the gonna, thing. We're going to get Qui-Gon in like a few days, really, like next week. Yeah. And then everything will be known. Yeah. Like this is, like, and then where are we going? Into the abyss. Right. All the way to heck. Yeah. Or and hell. Back. Right. To hell and back. Heck in is, a hand basket. Heck is like the polite village next to. I feel hell. like we're entering the zombie apocalypse. We just don't know what's going on. Right. At least we'll have a Gungan shield to protect. <laughs> 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 People aren't going to know what we're talking about. That's fine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Um, that's the viewer questions. Hit him with the flat screen. <laughs> Man, if I can swing a flat screen that large, that'll be great. Uh, do you want to do the... Let's, let's do the character review. Let's save the trigger photo for the end, and we can trigger people and then leave. Yeah, they can leave triggered. That's good. Yeah, that sounds like a promising thing. Yeah. Um, they don't get Nancy's amazing roster. <laughs> yeah, because the roster roasts on your half, so everyone's just going to have to go there. This Gosh. is why you should just watch an order. Friggin' Nancy, man. Um, okay, Nancy so pants. We're gonna review a Night Sister because I bought the Night Sister bundle. Mm -hmm. Which you were very excited about when you played my GAC, by the way. Uh, yeah, I was. I. Like, I, I even, like, gave Marin relics because she wasn't included in the bundle, and I gave her an Omicron. Oh, man. Uh, that, that, yeah, 
good congratulations that yeah. that is you know what's not exciting what you have relic three on daca i know so do you want to talk about daca or do you want to talk about zombie uh, it's your call please let's, let's do daca since you pointed out that she's only relic three all right so what do you like about daca other than the fact that she revives people she is so ugly that's what you like about her I mean it it's a spectacle <laughs> at this point <laughs> like like wow I didn't know they I didn't realize that was a thing uh. so um yeah so she's um Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Slasher <laughs> says you gave me three beers and I'm all in on Daka <laughs> <laughs> Three beers. Oh gosh. I feel like that's cheap. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm like, I only need like two death sticks. Oh man. Um. <laughs> um so cow. she's got her her basic and her special, and that's it. That's all she does of her two her two moves. Yes, ma'am. And she stuns on. Sometimes she stuns on basic. Uh, sometimes she gets a bonus stun. Do you know about that? No. Oh my gosh. Okay, click on basic, please. Okay. This is... Oh my gosh. This is... Oh. This is why every once in a while, if she dies, if you have Marin and you think you have the situation <laughs> mostly under control, like it's, it's a weird situation for her to be dead in the rest of your roster, but... If you're with Talzin, of course, Talzin's the one that, you know, keeps reviving people mm -hmm. as they, um, you know, you do a basic, and then they it summons assist. one of the dead, it summons one of the dead person who assists. And this one is pretty nice, actually, because then you get a stun on a stick, kind of, like, you can just point at someone, and it stuns them, and then it might also get, she's, just, she's like a stun merchant, basically. I like that. Yeah. Stun merchant. Yeah, uh, um. she... But but otherwise, even when she just takes like she takes a lot of turns because hopefully zombie is just dying a lot for you or mm -hmm. Talzin or whatever. And if one of them's dead, then they're reviving consistently. And one other part of her kit is she gets fifty percent turn meter every time you kill someone, um, or every time someone dies. And that that's her unique. And Daka does? Um, or Marin does. Well, we're talking about Daka. Look, look at her unique. Man. Okay, carry on. All right, so it, it was it's not the enemy who dies who when she gets it. That, so that was that was wrong, mm -hmm. but but yeah, 50% when when her friends die. Which like the zombie you know. Zombie counts. No, well mm -hmm. so when when Talzin's lead revives one of them, mm -hmm. then they they're of life, so then they die, and she gets fifty percent just from that action. Right, like if you were to, to do the, um, oh my gosh, whatever the basic whatever with with Talzin lead, but you don't land the kill, so they don't stay alive. They die afterwards again. That counts. Right. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. So so she's getting a lot of turn meter, anyways. So she's gonna be able to stun, and then she, every once in a while she just. Like, it, it's the really awesome thing where, like, in, if you use them in territory battle, for instance, or whatever, like, if you get stuck behind a taunt, you mm -hmm. can still just, like, fish for a stun with her on someone else who's who's hiding behind a taunt, and it, right. it, it, could, it could work. Right. Because, she, okay, yeah. Because of, um, of the turn meter and, and just, you know, basic game. Right, and so even as, as other people on her team are dying, she's also gaining... Um, She's also gaining 10% max health every time that happens. So she just Man. builds up a crazy stack of health, which is why you want her to be Relic 5, because you don't want her to die, typically. You want her to just sit there, and then every time someone dies on her team, like everyone else, that's why I was like a little bit reluctant to get them to Relics, frankly, because mm -hmm. it's nice to have a bunch of like Gear 12, Gear 11 characters who just die constantly. And then you have Relic 5 Daka who's just there boosting her own survivability. So then, like, someone, a, a common counter that the team used to use, at least, uh, mm -hmm. was against General Grievous. And yep. General Grievous would do his AoE, 
Blender the whole team, but Daka would be alive. And because all those characters on her team died, she'd gain 200% turn meter. So she'd take it the next turn and revive all of them. Right. Right. And you're just... So it's kind of like and, having... And she a... got 40% extra health on top of that. It's Yeah. So it's kind of... Like, do you remember, like, the old school paper zombie? Like a yeah. paper, full paper zombie team, but just paper night sisters. No, absolutely. Paper zombie is, is the best kind of zombie in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. Well, not yeah. if you bought the pack now. Um, no, it, it, it was a kind of a sad moment where I, I, I really like the ability to have Omicron, or sorry, Datacrons for them, but that's, that's it. So that's why I that I tell people for starting for like a starting core team mm -hmm. get get your nice sisters all to like gear 11, you know, not zombie can be gear 10, everyone else can, can, you know. Uh get get uh Marin to 12 cuz you need her 12 anyways to unlock Cal. Yep. And then relic 5 on Daka and then you're just set for like all the way to end game, even into end game. Like I I killed I think I killed three different Jabba teams with my piece of crap Night Sisters with a, just a Relic 5 Daka and that's it. Oh, man. Th this last season. Yeah. That's, cause you, you, and then my main tried it a couple times and it, I just, they were too survivable at Relic 7. So. so it wasn't ramping enough for you. Right. Man. Uh, so if you go into a leadership, so this is something um, that maybe you you don't real like it's a really simple leadership, but it's something that you need if you want to beat the rise of the empire. Uh, Nice sisters, uh, yeah. special mission. Yeah, because I was gonna say you use her as leader for this for that mission. Right, and it's not perfect. I I lost it last time actually this this most like yesterday, um, so it's not it's not perfect, but it it can. That's. You, you give yourself a chance. It's the most boring lead. Like, Talzin's lead is so fun. I and know. D Daka's is the most boring. I will um, say, when you said you were using her lead for that mission, I thought you were joking. Oh, really? Like, I was like, mm, he's being a smartass. And then, oh, you, like, <laughs> and then you kept saying it. I was like, okay, he's probably being serious. <laughs> at some point i'm gonna have to take him seriously <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well because like how many times do you hear someone be like yeah you need old doc a lead no i mean it it sounds silly I, people used to tell me all the time to use old doc a lead against grievous they used to do that all the time but then at, like they're like no it works every time and I, I just it just so i'm sure it had worked more often than this but i I watched like two of them were streamers who were like, "Nah, dude, you're just you're just losing more." Like, because that was always the fun counter was nice sisters. It was the clinch fest, the nice sisters versus grievous. Like that was the most fun, and we don't get to live that clinch yeah. anymore, unfortunately. But uh, it, yeah, it was it was always nice sisters versus grievous, and people would be like, "Nah, dude, you have to use." Daka lead. It works every time." And I watched them on the stream, and it failed. Uh, like. Between the two people that kept telling me that and preaching to that, that they did it three times that I saw and they lost all three and I was like, yeah, hundred percent, man. That was that's really good. Definitely hundred percent of the time. Uh, you, you need the other you need the other stuff from from Talzin to make it viable, but um, yeah, dog a lead in in the Rise of the Empire. It's the only way you can hmm. get to the health. Maybe once we get to Relic Twelve or something. And our health pools are big enough to withstand that big um, dash AOE. AOE. Yeah. That'll yeah, work, but otherwise. Um, the other thing that I do with DACA, and I don't know, I'm assuming like a, f a good amount of the player base knows this by now, but like the turn, not the turn, the squad selection, uh, like when you're p picking your squad matters. Mm -hmm. Like I, I always put her in the second slot. Yeah, I think you want it in the third, typically. As uh, I think the second is probably fine as well, but that way, um, depending on what the AoE is, then the, yeah. the zombie will die first before Daka. Um, mm. but, but, yeah, but yeah. Like, like put zombie in the second? Yep, so I, I do Talzin, zombie, Daka, then Asajj and Marin, I don't care. But that's... Um, 
To, that way, with the if they do a big AOE or something, you have to have the lead yeah. where she is, so that's fine. And then, um, and, and then, then zombie. And then, if there's a big AOE, they kill them in order. Yep. Yeah. So you want you want Daka to survive the zombie sacrifice, essentially, so she can yeah. get everyone back. Right, she's the one who's gonna, uh, you know, and it, the dynamics have changed a little bit since Marin can also revive some, right. but but yeah, um, you don't want to take any chances, so that that's typically what you want to do. Right, Doc Doc in the third, second is probably also fine, frankly, but fair. But yeah, um, I I love this squad, D and Daka is central to what they're trying to do. Um, mm -hmm. Well, so one thing that I'll, I guess I'll point out too, is, and this this interacts with the Talzin lead, but um, so the Talzin lead says whenever you do a, whenever someone does a special, it inflicts a plague on the character who is being targeted. Yep. So sometimes, if you need, like, if it's in conquest and you just need stacks of plague, and you can just play with your food a little bit, you can when you get to Taka instead of doing a hit, especially because she is a healer and so she's doing crazy damage crazy. right now. With with the uh, whatever it's called, zealous ambition. Yeah, yeah, zealous ambition. Uh, so instead, you just do a heal, and it, so it heals your team. And maybe they don't even need the heal, but then um, it, it puts a stack of plague on instead yeah. and lets you let lets you cycle through a little bit. Um, Night Sisters and Conquest <clears throat> are so much fun, dude. That, that, so fun. They like, top top five team for sure in in GA or in Conquest. Yep. Yeah underrated yeah um, that they're just behind inquisition amazing mm -hmm. that's another good one yeah so uh yeah so she's fun we like her uh, well yeah. i mean we think i guess we apparently think she's ugly but the, but the, the the awesome thing is she has a great personality <laughs> she's so nice i would not say she was nice damn <laughs> She's she's crazy. <laughs> uh, she's she's Looney Tunes straight up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Do we want to do a trigger photo and just upset everybody before we leave? Yeah, let's do it. Man, <laughs> we're uh. Yeah. We're we're... This is weird on my channel. It, it is. Well, because you can't even see it. I guess you can see it since we're live, but um, yeah. all right, here we go. Sad. This is not a great screenshot because it's of a, right. a dead squad or something, but um, yeah. I, yeah, so Le Leviathan, that's not, <laughs> not the ride. Um, it's, it's, not Darth, the it's Darth Revan's ride. <laughs> it is Darth Revan's ride. You're right. Um, with with the negotiator fleet. Uh, yeah. This hurts. This uh. But also like super relatable. But it still hurts. <laughs> um, I I just chose it because I thought we would trigger you since you don't have a seven star Leviathan. <laughs> Does it trigger you because you had to use my six star Leviathan in GAC? I mean, I did have to take that four banner hit, and we almost didn't make the over under because of it. <laughs> oh, we were over by like fifteen banners. I know. I'm just. <sighs> we would have been over by by twenty or something. Yeah, if you hadn't. No, we would have been way over if you hadn't tried to use Zori. I was just proving a point. Anyway, that's just. Uh huh. I wonder what their enemy thought when they saw this, like their opponent. Uh, well, what would you think? I would just be like, ah, oh, man, they made him like that's that sucks. I, that, I know for a fact that I would, sucks. I would legitimately be like, oh man, Leviathan, and I would like, because I would just look at the capital ship, and I would write it off, and then possibly I would look at. Um, the fleet afterwards if i went back and looked at it and paid attention you know <laughs> the, the funny yeah it is funny because it's like what would you do if you saw this and then it recurred to me you wouldn't because you don't play gac <laughs> <laughs> i don't go i don't go to fleets yeah that's that's not a thing like for all 
Except for like the one match a season that I bothered here. <laughs> and if they have Leviathan on defense, you're like, that's too much work. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, we we done got triggered. We did. And and that's it. All right. See you next week, YouTube. For 101. Yeah. YouTube.